Yeah, it's like it's like DoorDash. Like I'm a big I'm a big proponent of DoorDash. I use DoorDash all the time. But here's the thing with DoorDash <laughs> is that as much as I love DoorDash, I don't want to like survive on DoorDash. I don't want to be like I don't want DoorDash to be the only means in which I eat. You know? Yeah, and, exactly. And that's and that's the problem with Disney parks is that they're 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 it's not so much that mobile ordering is bad. It's not bad. Like if I, if I know I want to grab some, some, some like macaroons on the way home, it's kind of cool to be able to like, you know, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to order macaroons like in a couple hours. So when I'm walking out of the park, I can grab them and I can go. That's right. cool. The problem with the mobile ordering is that when Disney tries to make it where it's like a replacement for physical ordering, it's a, it's like a hundred percent mobile ordering. That's the problem. You know, oh, yeah. like I said, like with DoorDash, I love DoorDash. I use it all the time. DoorDash sponsor me. <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. No, but seriously though, I DoorDash, I use all the time, but that doesn't yeah. mean like I don't want to have the option to be able to drive through McDonald's oh, yeah. physically if I want to do that, you know? And well, when you have work. to rely on these systems, that's where you get into trouble, right? Mm -hmm. When you have to like, where the, these are the only systems that you can use. And it's like, well, that's, you know, that's not nearly as convenient as it augmenting the normal systems that would normally be in effect. Well, and I have a I have a brief little story to tell. It kind of ties in with this. This was on the day of Oogie Boogie Bash before I met up with you, Vash. I was at the um, uh, what what is the uh, I always forget the name of the, the the quick service at Condor Flats Smoke Jumpers Grill. That's it. It keeps on changing like every two months, so I, I yeah, can't remember wow. what it's titled. But <laughs> I I actually mobile ordered the uh, the macaroni and cheese with the brisket and everything. So and uh, I, I got a, a specialty uh, drink and everything. So by the time I got it, it was it was like this big in a cardboard little container, which it was really good. It was it was awesome, but it just wasn't enough. So while I'm in the process of eating, because I knew it was going to take 25 minutes just to get another one of these, oh, boy. I'm eating and ordering another one at the same time. And I <laughs> oh, thought, man. well, I'm like, I'm not leaving the building until I get my, I was literally, I, I had to do like three or four orders just to get fulfilled of that meal rather than just go up and say, hey, can I get another one of these right. that I had to wait like 15, 20 minutes. So I thought, well, why I finish this one? My next one will be ready. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, that, that shouldn't be happening. You should be able to walk up and just order something. And and that's why, like, I think, Dre, you, you just mentioned this, where, like, it should be in conjunction with, not, like, a replacement of, you know? Like, it mm -hmm. should be, they should these, these systems should work together, physical and mobile, and it shouldn't be just, like, all mobile, all digital, you know? Oh, absolutely. And the inefficiency of these systems, the inefficiency by which you divvy up uh, resources for mobile order and for, uh, you know, people that are actually in line. I mean, these inefficiencies, they cost Disney, you know, lost revenue from just, you know, lost sales from inefficiency. And, Line's too right. long here or I'm waiting too long here. I'm just not going to do it. And like we said before, OG, we want Disney to do well. So please be more efficient. We want you to make money yeah. in these areas. We, you know, we want to spend money. Especially at the cozy right. cones. I think yeah. that is one of the, the worst parts with the mobile ordering because it, it gets so congested. There's mm -hmm. not enough seating back there and you have p massive people standing there waiting either to get their ice cream or their their mac and cheese cone or and you look there you look at the cone the line is empty because you can't go up to the the window and order all the crowds are standing behind the line waiting for their order to come up <laughs> It's it's ridiculous. It's 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 ridiculous. I, I mean, this is not you know. Or an ice cream, cultures. an yeah. ice cream, something that takes two seconds. You stick yeah. the cone underneath the machine, and you let the ice cream come out. <laughs> two seconds. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, this is this is the. Uh, <laughs> they they tout themselves as a quality service or, or as a as a as a quality experience. Like that's not a quality experience. Yes, and. Yeah, well, and and you know, we mentioned Fresh Baked before. Dave from Fresh Baked, he's saying, you know, during the initial uh, part of the reopening phase for Disneyland Resort, uh, previously at um, uh, what is it, Tropical Hideaway, you could only get 
uh, Dole Whips from that location if you did mobile order. And he was saying, like, by, you know, 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock, uh, 7 o'clock, whatever, whatever the you know, closing time was, you couldn't get one because they had distributed all the, the Dole Whips, supposedly, for the rest of the day. And, and like you said, it's the, the same time, thing. It's And that's usually the time that I love to get a Dole Whip. I right. love getting it in the evening time when they right. have the fire, you know, on the torches going. Uh, yeah. It's the best time to have a Dole Whip. Absolutely. Abs it's the best time to have a Dole Whip. I mean, you know, uh, my my family and I were lucky enough to have a have a Dole Whip right underneath the evening sky with the fireworks going off, and it was great. It was a beautiful time. But th the fact that y you know, at at one point because of their complete inefficiency of their system, you couldn't actually do that is bizarre to me. And like you said, it's ice cream. It's just and that's it. And it, you couldn't do that crazy crazy sauce it, it's absolutely crazy and and this is the thing that like like disneyland a lot of the great moments i've had at this at, at disneyland california adventure whatever disney parks in general it's just those moments of spontaneity you yeah. know yeah. like i'm with my girlfriend and you know what hey you feel like a dole whip let's go get a dole whip let's go watch the fireworks you know we didn't plan it hours ahead we just decided I felt like a Dole Whip. Let's go get one. You know, yeah. those are those, yeah. those, it sounds cliche, but those are those magical moments. A, a lot of gr like the, the best parts of Disney parks, a lot of times are from those fun, spontaneity, like th these spontaneous, spontaneous moments. Yeah. Like these moments where like, you're just like on a whim deciding, like, I'm going to go do this and you do it, you know? Yeah. Sometimes like the over planning, it kind of destroys the moment, you know, like, it's just kind of like, well, you know, okay. So I feel like a Dole Whip now. I'm going to mobile order it and I'll get it in two hours. <laughs>